This is the Demore Engineering VU DIY 2, or the VU Do It Yourself. Do you like to do it yourself? Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, if uh, the mood strikes. I'm gonna open it up, unbox it, take a look at what's included, hook it up, see how it works. So first thing we notice here in the tube, there's a circuit board. It's an anti-static bag so you don't shock it. And it's got battery remote and ground here, an audio input here, some dip switches here to make it do different things. You can do like seven different modes. It's got LED outputs where you can connect uh, like 12 volt LED strips, something like this. You we're gonna go over all the modes, what all the controls do, everything it can do, and what's included. So let's keep unboxing this or untubing it. Um, we have a owner's manual, and we have some vinyl decals here as well. That's it. So these are Demore Engineering vinyl decals. We include two in here just in case you mess one up. These things can, you know, get messed up sometimes. You may have seen the video of my Jeep from years ago. We had one of these on the back window. We didn't put the blue dots. We just left the white part of the logo. And then we put LED strips like this, 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 and so on. And we made a giant VU meter on the back window of the Jeep. I'll put the link to that video in the description of this one so you can check it out. It was pretty cool. So that's what it includes, two of these, the manual and the circuit board. All right, let's hook up the circuit board. Let's see some of the things it can do. Can go here into the, uh, into the manual. You can see some of the, the different modes that it has. So mode one, two, three, four, five. There's seven different modes. We can do a, a bar graph VU meter. That's where it goes with the audio, but each LED behind the other one stays on still, so you can make like a bar graph. Um, you know, again, you have to use your own LEDs. A bar graph with peak hold, that would be a bar graph where the top LED that it hits stays on for a few seconds. We can do a bar graph voltmeter if you just, if you need a 12 volt voltmeter for something, a 16 volt voltmeter for something. Uh, a dot mode VU meter. So that would be a, a meter like what was on the Jeep on the back window. So it's only one row of LEDs on at a time. So you can simulate like an analog needle. Uh, a dot mode voltmeter. So if you were to want to make a 12 volt voltmeter or 16 volt mo voltmeter with the dot mode, you could also do that. So um, for right now, we're just gonna, let's see, let's do mode six, dot mode, 12 volt voltmeter. This mode is selected by switching the dip switches to dot, VM, and A. Here's the switches here. You can see I've already moved them to dot, VM, and A. It also has some text on the board in case you lose the manual someday. So this should be a, in this mode, only one LED output is activated at any given time, useful for making an analog style meter like the Demore Engineering Company logo or for a moving dot bar graph. Each LED step is half a volt C chart. So the chart for mode six right here, mode dot v, VM, which is voltmeter. So there's the LED and here's the voltage. So if you wanted a calibrated voltmeter, there's the LED that's on and there's the volt that's displaying. So for the 12 volt and for the 16 volt, which is just by switching the switch from A to B. So let's, let's make this one. Let's turn it on. All right, I've got some wires here. These are also not included. So let's do B plus and ground. Remote, power and ground. Okay, so you can see it's 
This LED here is showing that it's powered up. This LED here is showing that it's below whatever the lowest reading is. So less than 11. It's saying it's seeing less than 11 volts. That's why it's flashing. Even though you can see I have a 12 here, but that's what's just turning it on. The actual sensing of the voltage is on this last pin here so that you can sense a voltage that is uh, different than the one that's running on or the same one if you just jumped it. You could just jump it across to the B plus if you wanted to. Okay. So there's the sense. Okay, if I hook this up to power also. There. So it's on the fifth LED. So on the chart here it says LED 5 is 12.5 volts. Approximately 12.5. You can see here if I move this, the voltage, it moves around. So that's the idea of that. That's dot mode. If you wanted to see bar mode, I can just flip this switch to bar mode. Now it's a bar mode voltmeter bar graph. Okay. These LEDs here are just showing you, I mean, you could use it just like this if you wanted to, but the idea is that you would connect LED strips off of these terminals here to each, each thing. So you could make like a massive one of these if you wanted to. If you want to just use it how it is, then that's fine. So anyway, that, that's voltmeter mode. If it was hooked up to music, you know, um, why don't we just hook it up to music? I have an amp right here. It's more engineering, the brand new uh, E750.1 that just came out. So let's just hook it up to that. So let's move this power supply out of the scene. This doesn't exist anymore. And let's pretend we're hooking up a VU meter in our car. We're going to hook up that, that back window meter that everybody likes. So we're going to go dot mode, VU meter, and let's see, A is no peak and B is with peak. So we want no peak. Okay. And we're going to hook up the power and ground and remote to the amplifier, power, ground, and remote. Power. Okay. All right, there we go. And let's put on some music. So that's the dot mode VU meter. This is a sensitivity adjustment here. If you wanted to, you could calibrate the maximum output of your amplifier to just touch the red. You would do that using the sensitivity control and that way you'd have basically a, an indicator in the vehicle of when you were about to hit clipping. Pretty handy. Like I said, this is intended to drive LED strips. So this connection on the board at the very end is where all the positive LEDs connect. So every row that you hook up, the positive goes there. You could use your DD1 and calibrate this thing so that the last light comes on right when you hit clipping. If you did that, then you could use the last light on here as a clipping indicator. I'm going to hook up this LED strip, LED strip light to it, and I'm going to hook it just to the last light. So, I mean, that's something else you could do if you just wanted like a big clipping indicator somewhere. You could just hook up an LED to this last output or to the last two outputs. Have a two stage clipping indicator or just hook them up to all the outputs and have a giant VU meter on your back window or a giant voltmeter. There's a lot of things you can do with this thing. We left it as a kit. We didn't want to make it into a product and sell it. We wanted to just have it as a kit so you guys can come up with your own thing. You know, maybe you have a golf cart that needs a voltmeter in it, or a boat.
that's one of many, many things you can do with it. It looks really cool when you have these hooked up to all the outputs. If you have blue, 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 all blue, and then a yellow and a red at the end, that's what our company logo is. And then you use that with the included vinyls on the window. Put these at these segments. Looks really cool. Again, check out the video link at the bottom of uh, this video. So that's a quick rundown of the view do-it-yourself. There's lots of things you can do. Pick them up on our website. They're on sale right now. And then make a video of what you did with yours and show us. We'll be interested to see. All right, thanks for watching.